Hey, what's up YouTube? Fear Blaze here, bringing you guys another episode of the Shell SMP. And as you guys can see, how I'm holding my stake, many of you guys can no, I'm kidding, but many of you guys probably don't know, but we did update the Shell to 25B, and we did set up the four beacons that spawned. Me, Slap, Skips, and Adam worked on this the other day with Cloud, and we set them up. So we have Speed 2, Haste 2, we're supposed to have Resistance 2. What are you doing, Resistance? Resistance 2. Resistance 1. Two, but we have one. Hmm. Someone best be fixing that. But um. Oh, whoa, that's loud. Jeez. But we do have all the beacons set up. I know I still need to power those, but yeah, that's that. It's pretty nice, guys. So if we run over here, you will also see that there is a new shop on the block, which is Genesis Shop, and it is. Oh, skips his plot. It's his magic carpet shop where he's selling wool and carpet. So, you open up, he's got a bunch of wool, a bunch of carpet and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty nice. And it's raining. Are you serious? Why are you raining? Okay, let me turn off weather sounds. There you go. Okay. And uh, let's see how Perp's mob shop is. 18 bones. Okay. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah, false has actually switched it to False's food store. And does it... Okay, it is stocked up a bit. Melons are free, right? We'll take some just because. I mean, they're free. There you go, false. There's your first sale. That's not really a sale. Uh, Cloud has a plot there, and I do really want to build a... Oh, yeah, yeah. By the way, guys, in this update, look what happens when you press tab. It has your little head next to it. it that's so cool. That's so, so cool. But, anyway, guys, this episode, I wanted to talk about a potential Q&A that's coming up, and I'm going to be doing a Q&A in my next Shell episode. So, if you guys have any questions for me to answer that aren't too personal that are more shell related really than anything oh god i'm getting a lot of lag Ugh. that are more shell related that would be great and i'd answer them on camera in my next shell episode while i go like mining or something like that so yeah any questions guys are greatly appreciated just like for example like um you can choose out individual shell people like how did you meet adam how did you meet false how did you meet g and h like um how do you, how long do you think the shell will last? How long do you, how, you know, just anything like that. Any how or what or who question or, as long as it's not like, who's your favorite member of the shell? Like, obviously I'm not going to pick and choose who I like more than anybody else, but I'm not going to answer like that. That's stupid. But still, any questions are greatly appreciated, guys. So, Slaps' his iron shop, how's that going? Wow. Okay, people are really selling out. And GNH is actually selling his two shops. His fireworks shop is now gone. Skips bought it, the plot in the shop, off him for three diamonds. So he took it down. And well, if you hold right click, the stake goes up and down. And um, he's selling this shop for two. What are you doing, Adam? For two diamonds. So, hey, Adam. So that's pretty cool. He's going to shoot me. Oh, uh, shoot me. Shoot me. Oh, uh, no, okay. Sweet. So. We do have this here, and I do want to mess with the dragon egg this episode. But first, I need to get some glass to do what I wanted. So let's head back to my house and we will get going. But remember guys, if you guys have any question for me, leave it down below. Even if it's not something that you think like, oh yeah, I don't know if this is a great question, whatever. If you have one question, if you have 10 questions, just don't put it in one comment. One question per comment. If you have two questions, leave two comments. If you have 10 questions, leave 10 comments. Like that. But everybody should for sure leave comments because it'd be something nice that I would greatly appreciate. Because if I go, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get all these comments, going to be great, going to get all these questions, and I get on, it's, like, two of you guys asking me questions, I obviously can't do the Q&A. So, the more the merrier. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. There we go. Okay, I almost died, but it's okay, because we're live and we're good. Got the beacon done. Beacons done. All right, sweet, yeah. I told Adam if he could fix the beacons, because he's, like, the only one that really knows how to fix it to the best of his ability like the rest of us are just like huh beacon it's pretty cool while he's like oh yeah i need to take the beacon and right click the middle i'm british but yeah so oh he left all right cool so now we can actually sleep let's get to the bed and sleep quickly before it turns daytime or anything stupid happens nobody better hop on nobody better hop on let me sleep z z z z z z z all right sleep sleeping so i want to do two things this episode my nether tunnel and I want to, I just took a guy as of something by accident. Oh yeah, in this snapshot, the item frames are also really dark, so that kind of sucks. But, check this out guys. Okay, so, yesterday, 
around Drink's house, in this snapshot, you can find, like, these water temples or water palettes, whatever you want to call them. And there are these things called guardians in them. And they're really scary, and they shoot things at you, and there's an old man that goes in your face and goes, boo, and he scares you, and it's really scary. And Drink found one yesterday, and it was kind of, like, for his, like, recording thingy, because he was, like, the one that wanted to get it. So, if you guys want to see us conquer it, definitely go check out his episode, because it was really cool trying to take it down. It was me, slaps him, then Falls came in at the end and helped us out, because he brought milk. Because every time the grandpa guy looks at you, you get Mining Fatigue 3 for 30 seconds. For No, 30 seconds, ha, funny. 5 minutes, which you can't break anything. But, after we killed the Mother Guardian, no more of those things spawned, so we were able to mine some blocks. So, check this out. Didn't get that much, but we have some Prismarine Bricks. Um, that's more prismarine bricks. We have uh, prismarine shards, prismarine crystals, and we also have some sea lanterns, dark prismarine, and prismarine. So let me show them off. Prismarine bricks, I think. I have no clue what these things are actually by heart. I know that's dark prismarine. I know that's prismarine. And then you got your lanterns, and there it is. So that's like the whole crew right there, and I'm pretty sure four of these probably make one of these, and like four of these probably make prismarine. And then if you put four prismarine in a square, it probably makes prismarine break. And I don't know, you get dark prismarine. But yeah, those are the blocks. I don't know, guys. Is there anything cool that you can build with these? To be honest, the only cool one that I really like is this. The, what is this called? Pris sea Lantern. And I don't know, I think that's really, really nice. So, if you guys have anything cool I can build with that, let me know. Because those things look so snazzy. They look so cool, so haired. Okay, let's put these things away. You know... It makes me tear up every time I look in here and I see that chain helmet right there and think, wow, I had one, but now I don't. <sighs> that sucks. I also want a shop to build. So I was thinking of having like a little, oh yeah, guys, my cows are going to make me lag. Look at that. I'm getting like 15 frames, but you know what? We can't kill them until we get our looting three sword because I want to get the most meat out of it I can. And I already have fire aspect, so I can easily slap that on. But the looting three sword is something we really need. So, uh, I cry, but we can't really do anything about that. Anyway, let's head straight down here. And hopefully we can get a looting three sword sometime soon. Because I really like to start killing the cows and going to work there. But, is this even working? Okay, yes, the slime farm is actually working. Sweet. 55 slime balls in my pocket. Let's go. So, I wanted to build a shop. And my shop idea was not having an actual building, but more like a little stand, like out of a total of like 10 blocks. And in it, I don't know what I was thinking, but I had a, I don't know, it was like late at night and I just got offline and I was like, you know what, I want to build a shop. And I was thinking to myself, and I thought of the little stand idea. And it was one of the two things, it was either one item that's not hard to get, but that would sell like crazy and I make a bunch of money off it. Like, for example, like, steak, for example. And if I sold it there, it'd just make bank. But it was either that or something with a book that's kind of, like, requesting. But I'm not sure what it was, so that's kind of pointless to the story. But I don't know. If you guys have any ideas of what I can build out of, like, a little stand, that would be great. Because, I don't know, I feel like that'd be a really, really cool idea. It's having a little stand and selling stuff. Like, looking through these things... I could sell, like, oh, uh, maybe, I don't even know, because looking at this stuff, I could have, like, a little lapis stand. Would that be cool? You think people would buy lapis? I think people are good on lapis, though, like, gold is already taken, iron's taken, I'm not selling diamonds, um, like, armor's pointless to sell. Let's see what else. We have, I can sell saddles, but who's gonna buy saddles? Someone's already making an obsidian shop, I think. I don't want to spoil who that is, just in case you guys can go watch their episode. Puffy's already got enchanted books. There's not much to sell at a little stand. And if I want to do requests, I can't do like a a clean up a majiggy shop. Because I think Drink's doing, not a clean up shop, but he's doing like a whatever you want him to do. No matter what it is, he'll do it. So, an anything shop. I mean, it could make a little shop and sell these things, but the thing is though, I don't know. Like, people can have that on their own. I don't know, man. But whatever, that's not uh, my issue right now, for the most part at least. But one thing I want to do is start getting my materials together right now because I want to start building an area for the dragon egg and potentially get started on my nether tunnel. So I think we decided on using andesite, 
Um, some stone, some stone brick, some stone slabs, stone brick, stone slabs, slabs. So stone brick stairs. Why are the stone brick stairs backwards? Who did that? Fix it. So, um, I think we're good. Yeah, and I want to grab some sand so I can actually have glass. But do I really not have glass anywhere? Like pure glass? I think I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need eight pieces of sand. So if there's sand anywhere that I can just pick and choose from and just take, that'd be great. But there's so many things I got to do on camera, guys, that I'm just... I don't want to use the word slacking because that's really not what I'm doing. But there's so many things I can do on camera that I just don't want to do for some reason. I'm just not feeling it. Like, I could be building my tunnel from uh, my house to the spider spawner. I could get started on the zombie spawner and build that for an episode. I could start building my nether tunnel for an episode. I could start... I'm just trying to think of everything I can do. Uh, nether tunnel. I could build a shop. I could do a Q&A. Like, I have so many things I can do on the shell, but... Out of all those things, guys, in an honest, from me to you type of thing, would you guys want to see me do all those things? Because I don't want to spend an episode, make it like 30 minutes, and have it just me building a zombie spawner. Like, do you guys really want to see that? I could go adventuring for an episode. I could record with other people. But, I don't know. Out of all those things, would you guys really want to see those? Are those something that really interests you guys? Or is it kind of like a only do it if you have to type of thing? Because at the moment, I feel like I have things to do. And I don't really... Come on. There you go. Okay, cool. I don't really have to do them yet. Like, it's not resorted to the point where I have to start doing that type of stuff. But, hey, it's not completely boring. It's not like, a, oh, today we're going to be building my nether tunnel. Oh, that sucks. Like, no, it's not that bad. But I do want to start that sometime soon because if I don't, it's going to start getting wrecked by gas and stuff and people are going to start messing with it. Another thing I wanted to do, guys, that I could do for an episode or just... Like, for a little bit while I talk. Now, again, all these ideas, they don't have to be, like, a full episode. You can't block it in this snapshot either. That's well, that's kind of good, because I never block it anyway. But you can't do it anymore. But occasionally, I just block while I PvP. But, yeah. um, Another thing I could do in an episode while I talk or whatever is, if you look down here, I started something. And did one more. Yeah, right here. So... I was taking out another room, and I made it equal to the top right there. And I'm going to make, like, a second floor of the chest room and have, like, a little ladder there. But the thing is, though, I could have that. It will look nice. It will look all snazzy. But when do you guys want me to do that? Like, I could do the second floor of the chest room downstairs. Because there's so many times where I'm like, okay, like, this was a cactus chest before. And I had them down there. Who keeps putting flowers everywhere? Jeez. But I did have those... Poppies go in the garden chest. And there are more in here. Yeah. Who's doing this? Whoever's doing this. Oh my god, I hate you. But um I want to make a second floor so it can be more convenient. Like this used to be a cactus chest, but I had to change it for the aquamarine type of stuff because I needed room. So I make the downstairs, I'll have room for that. Like this is stone stone, and this is stuff made out of stone. But I had to start putting stone bricks in here, and I start putting stone in here, because I'm running out of room, because these chests are full. So I could have another stone chest downstairs and all that. So, I don't know, like this chest, I want to have like an armor chest, a, a farming hoe chest, um, like a bucket chest, I could have all that, but I can't, because I'm out of room. This is my bow chest, the sword and armory chest, like shears and flint and steel chest, yeah. So it's really difficult to get everything sorted, so if you guys would like to see me dig out that chest room on camera, let me know. But again, I'm not sure if that's really something that's like, oh yeah, if you're, I'd love to see you sit there and mine out a room for... And put chests down. Well, actually, no. It wouldn't be mining out a room because I'm already done with that. But I don't know if you guys are going to be like, oh, yeah, Fear. I really want to see you go down there and put chests down and do a bunch of organizing for 20, 15 minutes. Like, yeah, it's something I really want to see. So that's the only thing that's difficult. I'm going to tell you guys right now. That's the only difficult part when it comes to the shell is kind of thinking of what to. Oh, no, no, no. I need quartz. I need quartz. I need quartz. Okay, I need one piece of quartz for this because I have an idea of what I want to do. But well, that's the only really difficult part when it comes to shell is kind of like sorting things and being like, hey, I want to do this. But if I do this, I can cut that and make it a certain amount of time without really extending it and making it too much. Like if I was to build my tunnel, I'd probably do a lot of cuts, like build a little cut, build a little cut, build a little cut, done. And it looked like three minutes. But again, it's kind of like a, if I do it, I want to do it all on camera. But anyway, guys, I'm done with that topic. If you guys have want to see certain things that you want me to do on camera and certain things that you want me to do off camera, just let me know because it is crazy. 
it's crazy. With kind of sorting things out. Eh, Skip's a little bit creeper there. Yeah, Skip's is really laggy, so... Yeah, he was near my house, so my house got kind of wrecked while he was just running around really laggy. But, I'll fix that, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah. If you guys want to know, by the way, why this upload today is kind of late, and why yesterday's upload was kind of like a quote-unquote catching up episode, like I said in it, it's because ever since the live stream, my sleep schedule has been thrown off. And I'll tell you guys why. So, after the live stream, once it hit 11 a.m. the next day, I slept from 11 to 5. I got 6 hours of sleep. And then, I stayed up, and, wait, I'm trying to think so I don't math this wrong. Woke up at 1. One. Wait, did I wake up at 1? No, I woke up at 2. Yeah. And then the next day, I went to bed around, like, 1 o'clock-ish or 12-ish, and woke up the next day at, like, 1 o'clock-ish or 12-ish or something like that. No, 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 I went to bed at 2. I went to bed at 3 that morning, I think, by accident. And I ended up... Waking up at 1 the next day. So that's 10 hours. So pretty much... Okay, so here's what I want to do with the dragon egg, by the way. I was thinking we could kind of elevate it one block, put some quartz under it, and then potentially have the egg right there, and then surround it with glass, and this would be gone. This way, if, you know, people still want to use the the um, ender chest, they can, but it's kind of in the air, like, right there. I don't know. Or maybe we can move it a little bit higher. I don't know how... Oh, you're so lucky I don't have my bow. So maybe like three in the air and we can have it like right there and then kind of put it on top of that and then surround it with glass. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we'll see how that looks. Okay, right there. And now I want to stain this glass to be white. No, you need a crafting table, don't you? Aha, I got it. So is Cloud buying wood? Oh, oh, I don't know. But so... Ever since that day, if you look at that right there, I got, I think it was six hours of sleep, like I said, and then, what am I doing? Is it that in the middle and this around it? Yeah, there we go. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Woo, I'm losing it. So, now we have white stained glass, so now we can kind of put that, okay. Can't hit the egg. Can't hit the egg. There we go. And then we'll just put it all the way around. Now, it may not look the snazziest or anything, but this is kind of like a just for now type of thing just so we can like have the egg in a visible area now i know it doesn't look the best and we can probably make this look nicer but i just want to kind of show on camera that we kind of move the egg and put it in a decent spot i'm probably definitely gonna fix it up and make it look a lot better off camera and stuff guys but yeah that's where the egg is going to go after i think of a nicer design to kind of put it in and do you mind do you mind do you mind after i think of a nicer design if you guys have a nicer design let me know but I think that's a nice area to have the egg. Not too high, not too low. And where you can also run under it and it won't really bother you. But yeah, so I got 6 hours sleep the first day. And then I got 10 the next day. So in 24 hours, I got 16 hours of sleep. Which was absolutely crazy. And then I stayed up till like 3 o'clock the next day. And got another 10 hours of sleep. Wait, no, that was yesterday to today. I went to bed at 3 and woke up at 3. So I got like 12 hours of sleep today, and now it's like 4.30. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> Need more materials. Okay, so... <laughs> um, Yeah, I see, I told you. Because that, it does not look nice, and I knew it right away. So that's why I was like, you know what? I should really fix this off camera. But yeah, that's going to be fixed. So then the next day, I just got 12 hours of sleep, and I don't feel tired. But it's just that... My sleep schedule is just wrecked because of it. Because then when it gets closer to night, I just feel so drained. But anyway, guys, it's probably going to do it for this episode of the Shell SMP. I'm going to try to get my looting sword back off camera or something. And if you guys did enjoy, be sure to like the video. Be sure to give me ideas of what you guys want to see on camera and stuff. Next episode is probably going to be mining. But I'm talking about, like, after that. Like, do you guys want to see me spend an episode building the nether tunnel? You guys want to see an episode where I... Um, build a shop, a little stand, you guys want to see an episode where I, uh, fiddle around with spawn, like, the more unproductive things, quote-unquote, like, kind of building and putting blocks around in my house, like, things that are really repetitive, would you guys want to see that on camera for a couple, just to have them there, or no? Anyway, um, be sure to leave questions down below for the Q&A next shell episode, and yeah, hopefully you guys leave a bunch of really supportive and nice comments and questions and stuff, and anyway, yes, that's it, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.